I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's as relevant here. Uh, okay. So, so on remote lab south side, uh, we had a storm recently, and we did take the systems down, even though we do new we do now have a new power supply that shouldn't make that a problem in the future. Uh, in the next month or so, we should be seeing uh, gigabit fiber internet uh, that is parallel, so up and down, uh, being oh, wow. connected over here for Remote Lab South. So cool. expect much better connectivity if you're working with any of our stuff here in the near future. Um, I am today finishing up some parts to uh, the, the lease for getting uh, funding for our finer, final bits of preparation for setting up the actual official structure for Remote Lab South. And that's pretty much it for the lab itself, though also reporting from Remote Lab South, we've, uh, as of yesterday, uh, sent off our, I, let me get the exact correct terminology for this, because why not? We have sent off our, we have sent off our advanced permission to submit an application request. Yeah. Which is to say, we have gone to the, we have gone to the grant manage, the grants management contact for the grant that we're looking into for holding a conference, and said, hey, we would like to talk to the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition about telling the FDA that the Open Research Institute is wanting to do this, and then that'll give us permission to actually apply for the grant. Yay, yes. bureaucracy. Yes, bureaucracy is good. All hail, yeah, all we, hail bureaucracy. It is good, bureaucrats. actually. It's, it's, a, it's a giant capacitor um, yeah. that smooths out all sorts of disruptions in the universe provides some stability and in order to interface with it you have to know the rules and um and it's not, it's not a bad idea um the the whole purpose of this is is that the conferences and the other and, and also research and development work so anything that that uh, any grant that you apply for uh, to the fda uh through something like grants.gov um what they want you to do is to check in with the area uh, underneath their mission. So the FDA mission yeah. has been broken down into all these different offices. And what you need to do is just to say, to just to get them to say, yeah, okay, this looks good. This is in this area. Um, and not every agency does this, um, you know, so, but the FDA does. And so the part of the process that we're talking about is, is asking to make sure that what we're doing fits in with the FDA mission because they won't spend dollars on things outside the, the mission. So we're just uh, applying with the accountability and transparency stuff that the FDA does. So look, looking forward to it. I hope that they say yes. I think that we got a really good proposal here and with lots of humanitarian benefit uh, to improve the food supply worldwide, essentially, you know, because fish farms are a big deal. Um, and the the conference, it sounds like uh, there's there's options in Little Rock for the, the conference and um, there's some really good options right next to uh, to a an airport that serves all over the place. So this is a easily accessible place, um, and it may sound like it's kind of out of the way, but uh, under the current uh, conditions for air travel, this might be an advantage and might remain one for a while, uh, given the challenges with with traveling around. Um, and I think we're also talking about this being a hybrid event that you can also attend virtually. Is that is that your feeling? Uh, sorry, I had a bit of audio cut out. Can you repeat that last question? Oh, sure. No, I was just asking what, what your thoughts were on making it a hybrid meeting that, you know, we will be hosting it in person. Um, but is there a hybrid component or a virtual component to the meeting? Do you, does it, you anticipate doing that? I have some anticipation of that considering how uh, distributed some of our membership is and trying to bring in as many people as possible to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to, to stream it or to make it as open as possible to people that can't physically be there. Yeah. Um, I think that would that'd be a good idea. Um, but the it is a, a accessible place. Uh, pretty much in the geographical center of the United States. So we're, we're hoping that that uh, is, works to our advantage. Yeah, we're hoping to get as many people as possible that will be able to attend and if not attend, have ways for them to be able to see it all, yeah. no matter what. Right. 
Okay, well, that's a that's a big step forward, and I don't know how how long it will take to hear back, uh, but hopefully we'll hear back very soon and have a good report for everybody uh, in the very near future. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, we'll work on uh, physical plant preparations for Remote Lab South and to to move the lab equipment from uh, Southern California to uh, to Remote Lab South for distribution and and all. Um, I think Remote Lab South will probably be the biggest uh, customer for the for the lab equipment that we have in storage that we've purchased and that is going to be after DEFCON so that'll be uh, the earliest so no earlier than uh, later in August will we start uh, looking at that so there'll be plenty to talk about when we move the equipment and, uh, and and set it up and and see what we need and what might be uh, excess and available for for other open source projects. Yeah. All right. Anything I can help with? Um, nothing currently. We're currently going through and getting the lease agreement prepared for on the Remote Lab South side, and then on the grant side, we're just waiting to hear back from uh, CF Sam. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Any other comments or questions from anybody before we close? None here. All right. Thanks. All right. See you next week. See you next week.